2 debate breaks into the United Nations. International attention focuses on the New York headquarters of the World Organization as the 11-member Security Council convenes to hear Soviet charges that aggressive acts by the United States menace world peace. Foreign Minister Andrei Gromyko announced in advance he would ask the United Nations to condemn the incursions of United States aircraft into other states. American Representative Henry Cabot Lodge was ready with a detailed rebuttal and a plea for the President's open sky plan. As the Council voted whether to include the Soviet charge on its agenda, Ambassador Lodge delivered an effective explanation of why America voted in favor. The United States does so in spite of the fact that the current item is aimed at us, and in spite of the fact that the charges involved in it are fallacious. Uh, we welcome the chance to state our own case. Another reason for our attitude, and it may be instructive for the Soviet representative to consider this, is that we believe in free speech, even for those who differ with us. Even before the proceedings were underway, it was clear Soviet Russia had no chance for the seven votes needed to carry its proposal of censure. But Gromyko, in his hour-long speech, continued the campaign of denunciation that began with the shooting down of the American reconnaissance plane over Russia that scuttled the summit and brought Russian-American relations to an ominous low point. Lodge answered Gromyko with a detailed expose of Soviet spy activities before summing up. If it should ever be accepted that the Soviet Union can maintain a double standard whereby they have thousands of spies and subversive agents everywhere while protesting one single harmless observation flight, the free world would surely be in great and peculiar danger. <laughs> 